Hello everybody, this is Adele, CEO and founder of Be Pampered. I'm gonna walk you through an accelerated lash lift and tint in under 30 minutes. So first we're gonna cleanse the lashes using our oil-free cleanser. Get off any excess makeup, any oils. If they have excessive makeup on, you can put them in the bathroom with the oil-free cleanser and get it, them to remove it themselves. Then we're gonna take our gel pads and we're just gonna secure those bottom lashes down so that we make sure we don't get those up into the rods when we're doing our lifting. And just make sure you don't have any upper lashes stuck underneath so you can use your lift tool to kind of pop those out. So we're gonna select our rod size. So first I'm gonna start with a small, just to show you how when the lashes come up over that bend, it means it's too small, your lashes are gonna be over curled. Same with the medium rod. They're coming up way too far. You want it to be about two thirds of the way up the lash. So her lashes are quite long um, and this is our largest shield. And you can see how the majority of the lashes are coming about two thirds of the way up the rod. That's what we're looking for. So this is the correct size. So we're going to use our large rod size or shield size. So we're gonna take our lifting glue and apply it to the bottom of the shield so that we can secure it to the eyelid. And we wanna make sure that we're going right along their lash line. Uh, we don't want it to be on an angle because then they're gonna get two different lifts on either side if they're not correct. And we're just gonna secure those to the eyelid. We're gonna take our lifting glue and apply it to the shield. I'm going to use quite a bit today because her lashes are quite long and I can tell that they're gonna take quite a bit of glue just to get them um, stuck up onto the rod. So we're gonna pull the lashes up onto the rod first using our lifting tool just to get the majority of the lashes up and stuck onto the rod. And you might find that you'll pull them up a couple times before they really start to get tacky and then you'll start noticing them stick. So once they've stuck up onto the rod, I'm gonna use my Y comb and I'm just gonna separate all of those lashes because if you have any crisscross lashes, they're going to stay like that when we do our lift and then they're going to end up having crisscrossed lashes um, for the next six weeks. So we wanna make sure that those side lashes are not fanned out, even though it looks kind of pretty when you're doing it, um, it makes a way better lift when they're pulled straight up. So I always take my lift tool and just kind of pull those lashes straight up. So once we've got the one section done, we're gonna to move to the next section. And as you're starting out, I suggest you do smaller sections. I'm doing kind of half and half, but um, I've been doing it for a long time. And so you might wanna kind of um, cut them down into quarters. So do a quarter section each time until you kind of get used to um, the service and then you can um, cut them into half sections and it, that will cut down on your time quite a bit. And that's where we're spending the majority of the time with our lash lift. So please don't try to do the lash lift in half an hour right away. Give yourself some grace. Give yourself some extra time until you get used to it and then you can build up to that. So as you can see, I'm pulling those edge lashes straight up instead of fanned out. And again, I'm working in about half a section and half a section. So just go with what you're comfortable with. Don't rush it. You will get better with time and practice, and then you can start cutting down on your service times. So again, we're applying the glue and then we're lifting up with the lash lift tool and then we're using our Y comb. I believe I used my Y comb on that last section. I just cut it out because my hand was in the way. <laughs> and you'll see what I mean in a minute. So we're just lifting it up onto the rod in a general direction, just moving them up. And then we're gonna take our Y comb and we're gonna take our time and go in and really pull those lashes up and make sure that they're nice and separated. Again, sorry, this eye was kept going out of focus, so it's not um, as great of an example as the eye before. And you can use your lash tool to kind of go in and separate all those crisscross lashes as well. So once we've got all of our lashes up, I like to remove the bottom iPads because it just for client comfort, usually they're kind of, um, they can kind of work their way up into the eye. So I like to just kind of remove them for this step. 
So we're going to apply our lotion number one. So we should only be using one pump per eye. Um, with her, I used one pump per eye because her lashes are quite long, but sometimes you can even get away with one pump per lift. Um, so you want to apply them about halfway up the lash, two thirds of the way up the lash. But for her, I'm going to go about halfway because you really want to get at that curled section. You really want um, the, the lotion to break down those proteins right where we're getting that curl. So with the large shield, you want to go about halfway up the shield. Um, you just want to be really careful not to get to the tip of the lashes because this one, uh, the lotion number one, can over process those tips of the lashes. And then you also want to be careful not to get the lotion on the lash line. So you can see where I've got it down a little bit. I'm just going to scoop that back up and make sure that none of it is touching that water line there. So once you have your lotion on, you can set your timer for anywhere from five to seven minutes. Um, normally I would do six minutes is sort of my average time. Uh, if you find that their lashes are very weak and brittle, then you want to move it down to five minutes. If you find that they're really, really strong and stiff and stubborn to get up on that lash uh, shield, then you want to move it up to seven. But on average, you want to use the six minute time. So once your time is up, you want to remove all of the excess lotion using your silicone brush and just be careful not to touch, to pull them up past um, the tips of the lashes because we again, we don't want to over process the tips of the lashes and we're not really looking for the curl on the very end of the lashes. Then you want to take a wet Q-tip, uh, just a damp Q-tip at this point and just kind of dab them on the lashes just to stop any processing again to stop any um, over processing. We don't want to get them nice and frizzy. We want them to be nice and healthy. So again, we're just removing with the silicone brush, being careful not to touch the ends of the lashes. And then we're going to take our Q-tip with some water, just very damp, not wet at this point, because we don't want to lift the glue. And we're just going to brush over those areas. So at this point, I like to reapply the same under eye pads because we're going to do the tint and I like to kind of brush the bottom lashes and I don't want to get it on the skin. So I just quickly reapply the lashes and make sure you pull out all the bottom lashes onto the top so we can get the tint on them. And now we're going to apply our number two lotion. So this is two pumps number two and equal parts our PPD free tint. And I like to add a drop or two of hydrogen peroxide as well, just to make sure that that tint stays nice and activated. Um, and we get as much out of it as we can. So we want to apply this one to the entire lash because again, we're tinting it and this is the one that's going to build those proteins back up and it's going to make the lashes hold the shape. So number one lotion, we broke down all the proteins um, and we've restructured the hair to where we want it to go. And this one is going to set them and build up those proteins again, nourishing them, making them nice and strong and healthy. So once we've got our first eye on, we want to set our timer for six minutes. Um, this lotion, you can get away with leaving it on a little bit longer. Uh, if you're not doing the tint with the lash lift, you can set it for five minutes. Um, but if you're doing the tint, six minutes is a great time because it's going to ensure that those lashes get nice and black. Our PVD free tint is a nice warm natural black. It gives off a real natural color. We do not use our henna colors on our eyelashes as the granulars are too coarse that they could damage the eye. So we do have our PVD free tint um, that we have incorporated in this line. Uh, the nice thing about our Be Pampered lotions is that you can use them for our brow lamination as well. So we do recommend full training for that, um, but it is nice that you can use both um, lamination and lash lifts with our same lotion so you don't have to purchase a different kit. So as you can see I've time-lapsed it for you so you don't have to sit here for six minutes and watch um, and you can see how nice and dark those lashes have gotten. So what I like to do is remove the gel pads underneath then I use my silicone brush and I just get off all the excess lotions on 
the shields and the lashes and then once I've done that I'm going to take my q-tip and I'm going to take quite a bit of water not enough that it's going to drip into the eye but enough that it's going to start lifting those lashes off of the rod and it's going to start dissolving the glue so a little bit more water than I would have the first time uh, when we're removing our number one lotion so we're just adding our water just to get um, that glue to start dissolving and so those lashes will lift off the rod nicely and we're going to move over to the other eye while that one sits and same thing just brush up in the direction of the lash and remove any excess product so once we've removed all the product we're going to go in with our wet q-tip again and deactivate the lotion I recommend using a cold water because any heat or steam on the lashes has a risk of the lashes falling back down and relaxing um, and not getting the best out of your lift. So using cool water, um, I'm going to go back over and I'm now that it's been sitting on there for a little bit, it's dissolved the glue. So we're going to take the lashes off of the rod, just being really gentle and working with it. And you can see how easily they just kind of pop right off. And then I like to take my Q-tip underneath the rod and twirl it. It's just a nice, um, more comfortable process than just pulling it off of the lid for the client. And then we're going to just, again, removing all that excess lotion. I like to be careful um, by brushing the lashes up after any time that I brush them down. I don't want them down for a long period of time. Because there is a little bit of residue on there still, I don't want it to um, relax the perm. I want the perm to stay nice and lifted. So after any time that I'm rolling down the lashes, just like this right here, I like to brush them right back up. So once everything is off, then we're going to do a uh, eye wash with our cool water. So you're just putting the silicone bowl or a plastic bowl, whatever you have, um, with a piece of Kleenex between it and the client, just underneath the eye, and just to ensure that the water doesn't roll down their cheeks or into their ears. And then we're just taking our cotton swab and we're just rubbing it lightly over the lashes, squeezing at the top of the lashes so that the water can dribble back down into the bowl. And I find this is just really nice for the client and ensures that there's no product left um, around the eye or in the eye so when they open they have no um, irritants so then we just dry it off with a Kleenex afterwards and then I like to go in with a q-tip and just make sure that there's no extra product left on the lashes and then we're going to finish it off with our nourishing lotion number three so again one pump per eye should be more than enough product and I like to put it on the back of my hand and just rub my spoolie in it just to get it even coverage on the spoolie. And then I just twirl the product into the lash. And then we'll get her to open and make sure that none of the bottom hairs are stuck up into the eyes and that everything is feeling good. Give her one more little wipe down, make sure there's no more tint left underneath there. And then I just advise her of our aftercare, which is no really hot water and no steam for 24 hours. I hope this helped. If you have any questions, please reach out to us at hello at bepampered.ca or visit us at shopbepampered.com.